Hello everybody, that would be an astrological forecast for Gemini and Gemini rising signs um, for October of 2021. We will have a quite uh, exciting uh, month uh, because we have four planets which are in retrograde yet. Um, um, Mercury, Jupiter, uh, Pluto and Saturn and all of these planets will turn to direct in this month. Uh, so it could help you a lot because if you feel like that things slow down in your life now um, because they turn to direct um, you will feel like that these things are speed up they can move on and you can you know uh, uh, keep doing what you wanted to do or what you uh, expecting uh, to uh, happening or you know like if you if you started to do anything what is slowed down in the last few weeks but let's see what we have here so we have mars and sun uh in your fifth house in libra so it's a good one uh, and it's interesting that on 6th of um, um october we will have a new moon in uh, libra as well in your fifth house so this month uh, will uh, be um, um focused for the fifth house matters what is the fifth house fifth house is uh, about your uh, children and um, also about the things what you like to do so all the fun party or creative things or uh, holidays and everything what you really love or like to do um, I would say that with Mars you could um, uh, over uh, party yourself or you could um, you know uh, do too much fun but um, uh, for those ones who want to have a baby this is a great time for uh, work on it because they can be more um, you know successful with it and uh, uh, for those ones who has a baby already uh, they should focus for the children now and um, I would say that with Mars they could have a lot of argument but also you could have a lot of uh, good uh, and effective uh, uh, development with your um, uh, children if you have maybe a bad relationship especially uh, now you will have a chance to uh, develop it so yeah um, try to uh, use it well um, also on the 6th of october pluto will turn to direct and 7th of october we will have um, uh, venus uh, in your seventh house it is quite important because um, um, you know if you're looking for uh, the the um, planet of love is Venus, so if you're looking for a relationship uh, now, it is a perfect time for you to find a relationship. And um, to reflecting for the previous topic, if you want to have a baby, this Venus also could help you. So you are somehow um, the you know the fifth house and the seventh house energy so positive that you could uh, uh, have more. A success with it so you could have a baby in this time so work on it if you want to have a baby and if you have a relationship and you had any issue or problem in your relationships now this venus could help you to sort it out beautifully or you could have a good luck in your relationship or you could be quite attractive in this time so if you are single and if you're looking for a relationship use this energy and this time and uh, and you know you should find a good one on 10th of October, we will have uh, Saturnus, which is turned to direct, and 17th of October, Jupiter will turn to direct, all in your ninth house. Ninth house is talks about uh, uh, long distance uh, things and higher education, um, maybe uh, about your belief system, um, a bit of uh, um, uh, esoteria or astrology. So these topics uh, could come to your um, um, way. Uh, but mainly I would say that it could help you if you are uh, learning something or you want to teach something now you could do it quite well Jupiter will help you a lot if you are planning to learn new languages or you want to study something this is the perfect time for you to start to do it and especially because uh, Mercury will turn to direct as well on 19th of October so um, if, uh, if I reflect for the previous topic if you had any uh, uh, argument problem with your uh, children now you will have a great chance for uh, um, communicate with the, with your children well uh, so you could understand him or her easily or she or he could understand you better so now you 
we have to be mentally on the top and um, you know communication could be uh, go well also uh, if i think in a different way um, this is the perfect time for holiday or go for fun because uh, uh, when the mercury is in retrograde it would hold back you in trouble make, make uh, it could make you delays or you know you could forget a piece of paper or forget an information or misunderstand an information but after 19th of October, you could have a really great holidays or you could have a lot of good fun. So that's the time for you. On 20th of October, we will have a full moon in your 11th house. So it is the focus for your long-term plans and also a bit about your social life. So your friends and your um, societies or groups where you belong. And on, um, on, on 30th of October and 22nd of October, uh, six house matter will be quite important. 22nd of October, sun we are moved to uh, your six house, uh, and 30th of October, um, Mars we are moved to your uh, six house. Mars is at home in Scorpio. Scorpio is the ruled by uh, Mars, so uh, here the Mars can uh, express his energy quite strongly. So in six house matters, it could bring you uh, um, if. We think about work uh, uh, um, topics, it could bring you a lot of work or it could bring you a lot of arguments in your work area. If I think about the health uh, area, it could bring you uh, in a bad aspect, it could bring you ENS, but the uh, quick ones like you catch something which is go for you quite uh, quickly, like uh, like some kind of influence or some kind of, some kind of virus. Uh, but uh, also you could have an injury or um, you know you could move too fast and you could have a, a you know you can break your hands or something like this but more likely I would think about uh, food poison or something like this if I think about the bad aspect but if I think about the positive aspect uh, and uh, if you focus to the positive aspect uh, you could have a quite uh, good and quick uh, uh, recovery uh, uh, time now or, or you could recover ring from something uh, which is um, in your life and also if you want to uh, change your life you want to change your eating habits or anything about your lifestyle uh, now you have a, uh, an energy and you have the power uh, to make these changes and um, yeah i would say that you should use this energy uh, this time because you know you will have no other chance or other time when you could have so good uh, 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 motivation and or so good energies like uh, what you will have now so try to focus for the positive change, changes for the healthier life maybe you should find the balance between uh, that how much you work and uh, you should see that how does uh, the works affect for your life also in your work area if you work in some kind of places where you need to um, um, I would say to um, connect with others and uh, this is a perfect time for you um, and I would say it um, because you know this Mars energy can make you more effective so you could communicate quite well and you can reach whatever you want in your work area and it also could bring you quite good money thank you for watching my video I really hope that you enjoyed it and then it's really help you uh, see you in November.